I'm Cassandra Belinsky for Investment Pitch Media. Thanks for joining us today. Voyager Pharmaceuticals has submitted a notice of work with the BC Ministry of Mines for the removal of 2,000 tons of barium sulfate from its Francis Creek project. The Francis Creek project is one of the company's three 100% owned projects in British Columbia with grade suitable for the pharmaceutical barite marketplace. The company also has interest in a high-grade iodine, lithium and bromine brine project in Utah in the United States. Upon approval from the BC Ministry of Mines, Voyager will excavate small two-meter wide surface trenches to remove 1,000 tons of barite from the A zone and 1,000 tons from the B zone. This tonnage is expected to allow for complete testing and modifications to the new barium active pharmaceutical ingredient or API pilot plant that the company plans to construct with construction tentatively scheduled to begin in 2023. Upon completion of of this work program, a notice of work for a small quarry will be submitted to the BC Ministry of Mines with plans for a full production in 2024. With the 2,000 tons expected to be a high-grade sample with low waste, Voyager anticipates extracting 1,000 to 1,200 tons of high-purity barium sulfate from this sample to be used in barium contrast manufacturing. To put the number in perspective, 1,000 tons of pharmaceutical-grade barium sulfate can create approximately 111,111,000 bottles of SmoothX Smoothie contrast media or approximately approximately 3 million bottles of HDX powdered contrast media. Contrast materials which may be taken orally or rectally are used to improve pictures of the inside of the body, helping to distinguish or contrast selected areas of the body from surrounding tissue, allowing the radiologist to distinguish normal from abnormal conditions. SGS Canada completed a preliminary economic assessment and assigned a net present value of $344 million with an internal rate return of 100 137% to the Francis Creek project. The company is designing a new barium API pilot plant with the goal of reducing the capital required from the $36 million over three years stated in the PEA. Voyager's plan is to build a lower cost production facility, fast track production, process the 2,000 tons of barium sulfate and complete full feasibility based on live real-time sales of product. This is expected to allow the Francis Creek project to be valued with a NI43-101 defined reserve. We have Brent Willis, President and CEO of Voyager, with us today to discuss the significance of this news. Welcome, Brent. Thank you, Cassandra. Uh, appreciate it. Uh, we're very excited about uh, Francis Creek and moving that whole project forward. This 2,000 tons notice of work is uh, very important as it uh, will feed into our new plant and uh, prove our economics and allow us to begin sales of Francis Creek product into the market. Yeah, it, it's important to understand that uh, with the supply chain issues that we're facing today caused by the geopolitical issues worldwide from Ukraine to Taiwan as a potential flashpoint from COVID, um, we understand now and also with inflation, with everything that's going on in our economy, that becoming a domestic supplier of drug and devices for the radiology industry is becoming critical and foremost. We have major shortages across North America with contrast media and Voyager's poised to fill that gap and become a domestic supplier to ensure our healthcare system remains intact and, and can service people for radiology. Thank you, Brent. Voyager is moving forward with its business plan of becoming the only fully integrated company in the radiology medical field by controlling all primary input costs under the motto of from the earth to the bottle. The shares are currently trading at 10 and a half cents. For more information, please visit voyagerpharmaceuticals.ca. Contact Brent Willis, president and CEO by email at brent at vpharma.ca or Al Delorier, CFO at Albert L at vpharma.ca. I'm Cassandra Belinsky for Investment Pitch Media.